Hey guys, welcome to another Walkthrough Wednesday. Today we're gonna do something a little special. We're gonna make it Passport Wednesday. We've got three passports I wanna show you. All three of them are bunk houses, and we're gonna start with the smallest option that we have in the showroom and work our way up. So I think you're really gonna love these if you need some additional sleeping space while you're camping. Come on inside the first one. This is a 239 ML non-slide. It does have a Murphy bed in the front, so this whole thing just lifts right up, and then you got a couch under there if you need it. Uh, but it's awesome to give you extra floor plan space when you're not sleeping. You got your di dinette here, and then you got your double over double bunks in the back. All three of these options are going to have the double over double bunks, uh, so you can sleep four comfortably. Um, then you got pretty nice sized kitchen here as well with this uh, glass cover for extra countertop space, st uh, stainless steel sink, stainless steel high rise faucet, stainless steel fridge. Uh, very nice floor plan. Let's check out the next one. The next one's about the same size and length. Uh, but it does have a slide out option on it. So let's go look at that. While we're passing by here, another thing to note real quickly, all three of these have outside kitchens, which is pretty cool. So come on back to the next one. This one's about the same size. Like I said, this is a 240 BH, uh, but it does have an additional slide out on it. So as you come in here, this one does have like a designated master bedroom. And instead of having the Murphy bed option, you get the full queen. Uh, Passport does use full length queen, so it's a full 60 by 80 as opposed to a 60 by 74 you might see other places. A little bit bigger kitchen here with the L-shaped design, uh, and then the TV uh, kind of in between the bedroom and the living space. And this one on the slide out has this U-shaped dinette, which is multifunctional. Um, got a dimmer switch there, you can dim those lights or turn them on bright. This dinette table can come out, you can use it as a couch, or you can put the table in, use it as a dinette, or you can lay it down into a bed, so it's very versatile. Uh, full stainless steel package again, double over double bunks in the back one more time. And then a uh, nice size space here for either uh, pantry goods or you can use it for clothes storage for your guests that are with you. And then on to the next one, it's two feet bigger with the slide out as well. Again, outside kitchens on all three of these. This is a 2600 BH, again, bigger bunks. Uh, you got your dinette here on the slide again, same multifunctional dinette option. Um, and then you have a little bit bigger kitchen again. Uh, so you've got more space here, cover on the uh, stove one more time. And then uh, I really like how they do these opaque glass windows in these and put the lights in them so you can see in the cabinets and they also just look really pretty when they're lit up. Designated uh, bedroom here. This is the biggest of the three master bedrooms. Uh, and then it's hard to get in camera, but all the way in that corner, there's an additional uh, storage space in this floor plan. You can see right there so even more closed storage in the bedroom uh, with a one door full actual door no no curtains it does close that off uh, so again all three of these passports are awesome options if you're looking for something with additional sleeping but very lightweight and easy to tow thanks for joining me on this passport walkthrough wednesday have a great day everyone